Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Chem Discussion. Today I am going to discuss Winrub Amide Chemistry, and it is a very important chemistry by which we can actually synthesize ketone from esters or acyl halide. First, we will see what is Winrub Amide. Winrub Amide is N methoxy N methyl amide. So, this is the general formula of Winrub amide. Here, I will discuss how to synthesize Winrub amide and then application of the Winrub amide. Then, we will discuss mechanism how actually it gives the product that means ketone and Subsequently, I will discuss some examples. So, let's start. First, the synthesis portion. Actually, from acyl halide as well as different esters, we can get winrabamide. First, from acyl halide, if it is treated with N methoxy N methyl ammonium chloride under the presence of base, this gives Winrub amide. So, from acyl chloride. If it is treated with N methoxy N methyl ammonium chloride under the presence of base, this gives Winrub amide. And the second method is from an ester. If it is treated with N methyl N methoxy amine magnesium chloride, this gives Sorry, this gives Winrub amide. So, by that way, we can actually synthesize Winrub amide. Nowadays, a diverse type of modified techniques has been developed to synthesize Winrub amide and subsequently its utilization process. Now we will see the application part. Generally, Grignard reagent reacting with organometallic reagent, it gives ketone. First we will see what happens when Grignard reagent is treated with alkyl lithium and subsequently acidic hydrolysis? This gives this ketone, and if it is treated with again another type of organometallic reagent that is Grignard reagent subsequently acidic hydrolysis this also gives us ketone product so by that way actually we can get ketone from two different type of organometallic reagent and treating with Winrub amide. So, let's see what is the mechanism. In the mechanism part, when Grignard reagent react with, sorry, Winrub amide react with different 
metal alkyls here metal may be lithium 1 or magnesium 2 first it forms a stable tetrahedral intermediate this is a stable tetrahedral intermediate when it is treated with acid then it collapses to give then it's collapsed to give ketone so first twindabamide react with metal alkyls to give a stable tetrahedral intermediate this is the crucial part and which on acidic hydrolysis gives the ketone so let's see some more examples when this chiral substrate or you can say chiral vinrabamide is treating with cyclohexyl sorry n hexyl magnesium bromide under 0 degree centigrade temperature this gives the ketone and this stereo center is actually undisturbed so that's why the wind up amide has a wide application now let's take an another example If windrabamide is treating with is treated with hydride transferring reagent, then what will happen? We will see this phenomena by taking an example. And or CSIR net practicing different type of examples is very much required so I am taking different type of example over here this diable is nothing but a hydride transferring agent which full form is diisobutyl aluminium hydride so by treating with this windrub amide this bond will cleave and first H minus will attack the carbonyl portion and then this will go out. So, by that way, actually, we get the amide, sorry, aldehyde. So, this is our product. So that's it for today.